alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear friends. It's another amazing episode of Maggie Diaries. I am Hanifa Adam, your very wonderful host, and I am happy to welcome you to this episode of Maggie Diaries. Today, we are going to be whipping up an amazing meal, but let's pause there because we have one step to go before I announce our meal of today. So as it is customary in Maggie Diaries, we have to welcome our guest. Our guest today is Faiza. Everyone, help me welcome Faiza. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for joining me here in my wonderful kitchen. Thank you. I, for can you guess me. what we are having today? I've seen chicken, potatoes, carrot, so, veggies and stuff. So. Yeah, veggies and stuff. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be a roast or something? Grilling? Don't worry, I'm going to introduce us to the meal now. <laughs> Now that we know who our guest is, it's time to announce our meal, which will be drum roll. <laughs> we will be cooking roast chicken with pan seared potatoes. This meal is such an amazing meal and it will be a delight teaching you how to make it. We have to go on a break now and when we come back, we'll start cooking. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggi Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggi Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggi Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries, everyone. This meal will be cooked in two batches because we are going to be making the chicken and then the roasted vegetables. To make our meal, we are going to be using two chicken laps, sesame oil, mm -hmm. carrots, scotch bonnet, ginger powder, onions, parsley, garlic powder, potatoes, thyme, ground pepper, tomatoes, and of course, our Maggi chicken. So the very first thing is to marinate the chicken. Okay. We are going to pan sear it in a frying pan first okay. before putting it in the oven. So I'm just going to be very generous with the pepper because I like pepper. Oh. Then we also want it to look super red and super amazing. And then the thyme. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just rub everything in. The parsley. my ginger and garlic powder and sesame oil. So the oil is to keep all the spices in check. Yeah, exactly. Place. And we are also going to be using uh, Maggi chicken. Of course. Okay, just help me with the second one. All right. If you were to eat like roasted chicken, you know, like this way, what other sides would you like to eat with it? So you, can, you can just... Oh, chicken and plantain? Yes. Ah, that's an interesting combo. Our chicken is already like soft, so we don't need to slice it open because sometimes okay. you want to do that, but this is fine. You want to make it very red. Just so that it can have like that pretty roasted color. Let me add more. More pepper. Yes. <laughs> the nutritional value in this meal is also amazing and it's perfect for iftar because you have the proteins inside yeah. you know the proteins will not digest really fast and it will keep you feeling full longer so that you can have energy for all the activities you need to do during the night that's true thank you i'm going to wait for it to dry right. so i'm just going to put a little oil in the pan because we want to pan sear it. No pepper. Yeah. Exactly. Let me move the oil so that it would exactly. All right. In this meal that we are going to be making today, what stands out for you in the meal? The chicken, of course, oh. and then the fact that I love spices so much. Oh, and the Maggi chicken, you know, brings everything together by yeah. elevating the taste yeah. as well. We are pan searing it first so that we can have a beautiful golden color. 
on it before we oh. put it in the oven. Yeah. It's getting golden already. Yes. So I'm just going to turn off the heat and then you can bring out the baking tray so that we can put it in the oven. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking you. forward to that. <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing you brought out. Like, let's yes. get into it. So yeah. I'm just going to put it in. It's hot, so I'm not going to hold it. So we are going to finish this off in the oven okay. so that it will continue baking and cooking. Yes. And we are going to go on a quick break now. And when we come back, we are going to continue with the rest of the meal. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. My chicken is already roasting in the oven. So we're just going to start preparing the potato wedges. Yes. So I would need you to help me cut them into wedges so that I can use it in the pot. So in a frying pan, I'm adding oil. Just a quick, simple sauce. It's not anything fancy. And then I'm going to add the onions. Is this wedgie enough? Oh, yes. That's perfect. Thank oh, you. Okay. okay, so I'm then going to add my tomatoes. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Yeah. And then two Maggie chicken. And then I'm not forgetting my scotch bonnet as well. Yeah, Always. you're not afraid of pepper now. No. <laughs> you know how Ramadan is all about togetherness and community? Yes. How do you think this influences the way we prepare food during this month? There's always like so much love and enthusiasm. People always excited to cook. I know like most times people are always at home at the same time. So especially if you have like a large family. Exactly. So There's the a way where we cook like in bulk more. Yeah. I used to be one um, lady in my house then. Mm -hmm. She would make so much um, pap and then akara or moi moi. moi, moi. And she'd also make zobo. Ooh. So you know like kids now, even if they are not fasting <laughs> like that, they would always like run off to come and get something There's to break their fast. There's always food everywhere during Ramadan, isn't Ramadan there? Yeah. A lot of people are using that opportunity to do sadaka yeah. and you know share and that's food. That's very important. So you know that as a fasting person, you get something to eat. The people that are exempted from fasting, yeah. they can also use that opportunity to, to feed, feed a and fasting that, Muslim. So like yeah. there is enough feeding to go all around. Yeah. So in as much as we're focusing on food, like food for the mouth and for the body, there's always food for the soul too. Exactly. So, like so I'm just staring, let me just leave that a little bit on low okay. heat so that I can clear up this place. So is it possible to use sweet potato? Oh, of course. I mean, if that is like your potato of choice, yeah. you can also use that as well. I would always pick the sweet potato option because, you know, it's sweeter than Irish potato. Seeing that we are using chicken to make this meal, yeah. is there any other kind of like protein you like to eat with your roast as well? Anything gizzard. Gizzard, turkey. Yeah. Turkey is also a fantastic option. Definitely. And I know you like turkey. Of course. <laughs> so now that my sauce is done, the sauce is just like a little side that we would have with our potatoes and vegetables with the chicken so that we don't have just two aspects to the dish. All right, I'm going to turn off the heat and then serve it in a plate. Okay, all right. Okay, so comment. let's wash it, yeah. Now that my frying pan is clean, I'm going to turn on the heat so that it will dry up. So I'm going to do the potatoes first. We are going to put one maggie chicken. Okay. Because we want it to be sweet. <laughs> and then just to coat everything. If you like any other spice that you have, that you'd like to have in there, you can also use it. This is just to like, you know, elevate the taste again, yeah. like to make it so like really, it exactly. Too. I'm going to put some oil in the pan. Okay. And then, it's already hot, so. Yeah, oh, be careful, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure I keep stirring it so that nothing sticks to the frying pan and we can get an even coat of cooking. Okay. Let me just use this spoon. You can see that that side is brown. Yeah, it's already bit. cooking. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it a little bit so that after it cooks on one side, I'm then going to turn it over so that the other yeah, side okay. can cook. And yeah. then we're going to add the carrots. 
I want to use that opportunity to check on the chicken to see if it is still baking. Okay. Ah, that looks amazing. Ready to eat. Yes. Ah, look at the chicken. The chicken is ready. Our sauce is ready. Have you ever fasted in school before? Yes. Okay. It was, it was a lot. It's more food at home compared to like fasting in school. Yeah, of course. But you know the independence that comes with fasting. Oh. When you're in school, you rarely or might not have anybody to wake you up for sahur. But that is actually how iftar comes in. Iftar is usually more lively, especially yeah. when, you, when you go to the mosque of the school you to have, break like, your fast. You... Exactly. The community actually comes together in the evening. Yeah. So I'm just going to add the um, carrots Carol. in now. Yep. Mm. Let me add a little bit of water. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I'll just finish it up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn up the heat and then sprinkle a little bit of parsley. Mm. Yeah. We are done. We're wow. going to serve it all together now. And Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with us so far. We are going to go on a quick break right now. And when we come back, our iftar is going to be ready and served. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. As you can see what's in front of us right now, both of us are so happy. Aren't you happy? I'm super excited. Mike. Both of us. We are excited. Definitely. We can't wait to dig in. Yeah. But before we do that, let's just, you know, drink some water, break our fast, and yeah. then, all right. Bismillah. Mm. You have to promise me that you make this for your family and friends, won't uh, you? Of course. <laughs> Even my enemies, I'll make it for them. <laughs> There is love in sharing. Masha Allah, the moment has arrived and our scrumptious iftar meal is served, as you can see. As we okay. prepare to savor each delightful bite, I encourage you to share this culinary journey with your loved ones, turning it into a cherished experience for the entire family. Yeah. Make sure to follow us on our social media platforms for more meals like this one. And with that, we have come to the end of this wonderful episode. Until I see you on the next episode, stay blessed and peaceful. Ma salam. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.